everybody. Sarah with you today for Technique Tuesday. This month here at a Cherry on Top, we are going to do some home decor projects. So I have one for you today. And for my project, you are going to need uh, a frame. This is a frame that you don't want anymore. It is a frame that does it. You don't want to hold pictures. And the uglier the border is, the better. Also, the older it is, the better. You will need some cork or wood veneer paper or glitter cardstock or any kind of specialty type paper you would like. You will also need some good strong adhesive. I'm going to be using um, Nuvo Deluxe Adhesive and I'm also going to be using some heavy body acrylic white paint. And then you need some cardstock and dies. So I have a collection of dies that I've cut out of some basil cardstock. I also have some fun fall flowers. You could use any kind of fall flowers, any kind of cardstock. You could make this for any season of the year. And when you're all finished, you will have something that you can hang on your wall as part of a gallery wall. So pretty neat, right? Uh, and this is not permanent. I'm not going to adhere the cork into my frame, which means that at the end of fall, I can pull this out and replace it with something that is wintry or something that is springy or something that is summery. You could also spray paint your frames so that you have different, uh, so you have all white frames or all the same color frames. Um, yes, this is very, very customizable. I plan on pulling these out and replacing them four times a year and they're going to become part of a gallery wall going up my stairs. So let's get started and we're gonna start with the frame. You wanna keep this part because we're gonna need that for some measuring. And you can remove the glass and then discard the glass. Part of what makes these kind of cool and fun is the fact that they can, they don't have the glass on them so they can kind of be more of a dimensional element and pop out of the frame. So the next thing that I want to do is I want to take this, I'm going to put it, kind of pop it into the corner here, and I'm going to use a Sharpie marker because I'm using cork material. Like I said, there is no wrong material here. Anything that gives a little bit of texture, anything that kind of um, goes with the season you want to work with or the season you want to create for would be totally fine. And then again, this does not have to be perfect either. We're just getting it to about the size of the inside of our frame. So the idea behind this is that you can switch these out and recreate them every three months. So you don't wanna use your most precious paper, or you don't wanna use your most precious um, cardstock. You, you don't want to create something that then you don't want to uh, take down. I'll tell you why, because these will collect dust. Three or four months, and they're gonna to start to look a little sketchy. And then it's definitely time to replace them with something new. If you're like me and you like to switch out your decor, then this is definitely something that will make you happy. Okay, so here's what I have. I have two of these little cone flowers. These are cone flower dies from Honeybee Stamps. I have added some glossy accents to the top and I've had them let them dry 
The other die that I'm using are all kinds of leaf dies. You can leave, use leaf punches. You can use whatever you want. And then the Sizzix has these gorgeous, like big, fluffy flowers. I got the gardenia one, and that's the one that I put into this frame. Uh, and so you have lots of options. So I think for this one, I'm gonna go with this cone flower. And I'm gonna make this pretty simple because we don't have a ton of room here, right? We're just gonna fill in this particular thing. I like the idea of filling it up. I have added some vintage photo distress oxide ink to these. Let me see how full I want can get this to be. I do rather like the idea of it being pretty full. Here we go. And then the other thing I quite like the idea of is adding some white paint splatters to the background. So let's kind of take this up. This is golden acrylic titanium white paint. I'm just going to lop a little bit down. I'm going to hit it with a mini mister. I'm going to add quite a bit of water here. Get this nice and wet. And then I'm using a fan brush and we can add some white splatters. I did this on the larger one as well. And I really, really like how that turned out. Put more splatters down than you think you're going to need. Definitely my, uh, trick and then I'm just gonna wipe this up and if you like I have my leaves in my my um, flower here and I'm not worried about that if I get some splatters on those because that will just add to kind of the messy look of our little altered frame here so I still have these pretty much the way that I wanted No, I don't. They're all going to fall off. Fine then. Another thing you can totally do is to add a little bit of dimensional adhesive on the back of the main focal flower set. And there's no need Before you go and purchase big dies, I would definitely go ahead and see what you have in your stash. I did purchase and grab that big gardenia die from Sizzix for the larger one, simply because I know that I do this, but I like to have these hanging up around my house and I loved the idea of having this big bold flower. So, you can see here I'm just putting glue into the middle and then I'm going to puff everything up, give everything a little bit of dimension. And these, as I said before, these will get dusty and you will want to replace them seasonally. So... But if you like to have seasonal decor, 
um, but you don't necessarily like to redecorate everything. These, this is a really nice way to just add a little bit of fall or a little bit of spring to um, a gallery wall and have it and then go ahead and get fix or um, replace it. So I'm just gonna go ahead, I'm gonna continue on tucking in all of these little leaves. And then I think for this particular one, I'm going to add a little bit of dimension, a little bit more dimension. And I'll show you how I'm going to do that. So here I have a little bit of Caramel Cream Nouveau Crystal Drops. And I'm just gonna add just a little more detail or a little more dimension to this particular cluster of leaves and flowers. You could um, add some, a little bit of stickles, whatever little thing you like. I just thought that that would give the, um, give our flower a little bit more dimension. Now I am gonna let these dr this dry completely before I pop it on my wall or I take some pictures, but I'm gonna put this here and you can kind of get the idea of what that will look like with the frame. And then again, we can switch this out. So every three, four months, you can just pull this out. You can set it aside to reuse next year, or you can make a new one every year. Completely, totally up to you. But I thought that these would be something super fun. You are upcycling and recycling some older kind of store-bought frames you have hanging around your house. And be creative, let your imagination run wild uh, with color, with design. I cannot wait to do some of these for winter with little pine cones. Uh, you can do summer, you could do a whole rainbow of flowers if you wanted and completely fill up just a sheet of white cardstock with flowers and put them in. The ideas are endless and you just need some metal dies and some cardstock. Have a wonderful day, everybody, and thank you for joining me for Technique Tuesday. Bye.